Teofimo Lopes and Devin Haney wound up stealing the show in Fresno, with their war of words commanding the attention of everyone at ringside, even in the wake of a major upset in the ring. So in this video, we are going to talk about Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopes' war of war or deeds. Haney got in the face of Teofimo, put his feet to the fire, pressuring him to set up a fight between them. Teofimo expressed interest in making the fight, but it's unknown whether the contest will happen. For the Teofimo vs. Haney fight to happen, both will need to be on board, as well as Teo's promoter Bob Aram of Top Rank. That's the tricky part. Does Aram want to make the Teofimo vs. Haney fight? In the past, Aram hasn't seemed eager to match Teofimo against Haney, perhaps because the two compete on different network platforms. Whether Aram will suddenly change his mind about making that fight may depend on how badly Tufimo wants the war. The sport's two reigning lightweight title claimants had plenty to say upon crossing paths. Before we move further, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Y'all fake it till you make it. Y'all don't want the fight. Lopes insisted once face to face with Haney while ringside for the preceding DAZN show Saturday evening at Chuck Chansey Park in Fresno. Y'all don't want the fight. I want to make the fight. Haney quickly replied, we can make it happen. We can definitely make it happen. My thing is, I'll do all this, but I'll don't really want to fight, claims Lopez. The accusation didn't sit well with Haney. Ma'am, you don't want the fight. The WBC Titleist replied. Both need to first make separate title fights happen in the fourth quarter of 2021, even if an undisputed lightweight championship would be the more ideal showdown. Team Lopes is pursuing belts in their new weight class, and Haney is defending his, likely against Lomachenko, at 135. But there's at least a credible chance that they'll wind up at the same weight at some point, and at least the same chance that there'll be some championship jewelry at stake to compete over. Brash Brooklyn-born slugger Teofimo Lopes, whose self-dubbed nickname declared intent to upset the sport's competitive establishment, is back in the building. The former three-belt lightweight champion had fought just twice since resting 135-pound glory from Vesa Lomachenko in October 2020, losing his stash of jewelry to George Cambosos Jr. in his first defense and spending much of the immediate aftermath aboard the conspiracy train, suggesting he was done in by a scheme to elevate another fighter. He exited long enough to stop Pedro Campa in seven rounds four months ago in Las Vegas and has announced a new mission to establish a belt-copping foothold at 140 pounds. A more significant step was taken on Saturday night at Madison Square Garden, where he headlined an ESPN televised show with a split decision defeat of Red Hot Sandor Martin, who'd not lost since 2017 in a streak that included a decision over four-division champ Mikey Garcia, labeled 2021's top upset by boxing scene. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.